and welcome to this week's edition of The Lake Report. I'm Katie Sartoris, the local news editor at The Daily Commercial and your host here on The Lake Report. We've got lots to cover this week, so let's get started with some headlines. It's high school football season. Our veteran sports reporter Frank Jolly is bringing readers smart analysis, timely results, and more throughout the season on dailycommercial.com. If you're a football fan, make sure you're logging on for the latest. This week, some sad news. Leesburg High School postponed its Friday football game after a student on the opposing team died. A Citrus High School football player collapsed during practice and later died in a hospital. We're keeping the Citrus High family in our thoughts and prayers. On the local coronavirus front, though, there's some good news. Hospitalizations and cases are continuing to drop, even in the schools, after a nationwide surge of the Delta variant. But experts still agree, getting vaccinated is the best way to protect yourself from a severe bout with the coronavirus. In Lake County, 68% of people 12 and older are vaccinated. That number is even higher in Sumter County at 73%. If you haven't yet gotten your shot, the Florida Department of Health in Lake County is offering vaccines at three sites, one in Leesburg, one in Umatilla, and one in Claremont. Hours and other information can be found at vaccines.gov. Meanwhile, retail pharmacies including CVS, Walgreens, Publix, Walmart, and Winn-Dixie are offering vaccines. Check their website for more details and stay safe out there. In our salute section this week, we'll tell you all about the Hometown Heroes program in Eustis and new this year, Umatilla. For the past few years, the city of Eustis has embraced the program, hanging banners with photos of veterans on light light poles in the downtown area. But this year, Sensational Farms has volunteered its site to honor even more veterans. Banners can be purchased for $200 and the proceeds go to Lake County Vet Fest. For more information, visit CelebratingHeroes.com. Can you feel fall in the air? Even here in Florida, temperatures are dropping and you know what that means, it's pumpkin season. We put together a roundup of pumpkin patches and fall festivities here in Lake County. Check it out at DailyCommercial.com. Of course, you'll find more news on our website and in the pages of The Daily Commercial. The community came together for Keep Lake Beautiful's Trash Dash on Saturday. This plogging event, picking up trash and jogging, helped beautify the Tav Lee Trail. Hi, I'm Ryan Gurdon with the City of Leesburg Public Works Department. Today we're on site at one of the city's funnest annual events, the Neighborhood Cleanup. This year's selected community is Carver Heights. People from all over Leesburg have volunteered their off time to come in, help out, and are having a fun time doing it. Let's go see how they're doing. We're here this morning with Dr. Erica Jasper, who played a major part in putting this event together with us today. Dr. Jasper, thanks for being here with us. What goes into putting together an event like this? An event of this nature involves the community. Um, Without this, we wouldn't be able to have a successful event. So I myself work with Cliff and Veronica from Lake Uh, Lake County as well, knocking on doors, door to door, social medias, just getting the involvement of the people because that's what makes this event successful. So speaking of the people, uh, great turnout here today. What is some of the feedback that you've got from some of the residents while we're doing this? People think this is a great idea and we should have done it a long time ago. Um, Hopefully this will be the first of many yet to come. So I'm super excited about cleaning up the neighborhood and just making a great place to live. Hey, good morning, Cliff. You oversee a lot of projects and a lot of improvements here in the city of Leesburg, but what makes this so unique here? Hey, good morning, Ryan. Thanks for the question. And uh, first of all, big fan, love what you're doing for the city. Um, So today is a unique situation where, you know, in Public Works, we're usually doing projects that go through a different design process and different stakeholders. Today, this is all about the people. This is a people's event. They get to come out here, they're talking to us, they're telling us what they need and what they want, and they're really driving it. So that's that's pretty unique. And it's just good to get out and, and meet everyone and, and, and talk to them person to person and, and fulfill their requirements. So we're a couple hours into the event and people are still going strong. Can you tell us about specifically what they're doing and what areas were covered here this morning? Absolutely. So this is in partnership with Keep America Beautiful and Keep Lake Beautiful. 
and City of Leesburg just likes to do neighborhood cleanups all the time. So we haven't had the opportunity to do one in a long time because of COVID-19. So we took the opportunity, met with Lake County and made it happen. It's, it's part of a national event. Uh, it's based on a European phrase for jogging and picking up trash. They call it plogging. So we, we said, great opportunity. Let's, let's get this ball rolling again. Well, all the residents here seem to be having a blast. Let's go check in with them and see how they're doing today. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. I'm here now with members of the local chapter of the Omega Sci-Fi Fraternity. Guys, how are we doing today? We're doing good. We're doing good. So tell us about some of the things that you've been doing here during today's cleanup. Well, we took the area and cleaned up the road. We went from uh, a whole section of the road just to clean up the neighborhood, meet some uh, citizens of the community, and just let them know that we're here for them to make sure that the community is beautiful. So in your opinion, what does something like this mean to the, the, the residents of Carver Heights and the city of Leesburg as a whole? It gives the community pride. You know, pride that you can go outside and you have people in your community that really care to make sure that we all, we're in this together. So we're gonna make sure that the community is beautiful together. And what does it mean to you guys personally? It's a great feeling to be able to go out and help somebody. That's what we're here for. Social action is our motto, and we're gonna be here for the community. Well, having a lot of fun out here. Thanks for speaking with me today, guys. So community leaders are such a driving factor in making events like this go down today. What does it mean to you to be out here helping make this event move for us? I think we're one city, one community, and I think it takes a whole community, including the leaders, coming together to make this come to fruition and clean up our, our city. Agreed. Hey, so, so tell us about some of the things that you've been doing out here today with the cleanup and, and what it means to you. Well, today we've been picking up trash all along the trails, all in the neighborhood and everything like that. It's just been a great turnout just to see how everyone's come together. It means a lot to me to help the community and just do whatever I can to clean up what needs to be cleaned up. It's been a great event here today, guys, and thanks for giving us a little bit of your time. And let's get into these these Carver Heights hot dogs we have coming for us. I'm let's ready for it. Let's do it. <laughs> so there it is. Another exciting day here in the city of Leesburg. For more on this and other events, visit our website at www.leesburgflorida.gov or follow us on Facebook. Until then, continue to enjoy our beautiful lakefront city and we look forward to seeing you out there. What a great way to keep Lake beautiful. If you would like more information about participating in events like this, check out the Keep Lake Beautiful program by logging on to KLB at lakecountyfl.gov. Coming up next, meet our new Miss Leesburg, Megan Goodridge, next here on The Lake Report. Welcome back to The Lake Report. I'm your host, Katie Sartoris. The 35th annual Miss Leesburg Scholarship Pageant recently took place at the Leesburg High School Auditorium. Lakefront TV was honored to provide full live coverage of the all-day event. If you missed it, you can watch the entire pageant on Lakefront TV's YouTube channel. We're now going to turn things over to reporter Cindy Peterson, who got an in-depth interview with Megan Goodridge, our new Miss Leesburg. Check it out. Hello, I am Megan Goodridge, your new Miss Leesburg. I am 16 years old and a junior at the Villages Charter High School. In my spare time, I am a competitive baton twirler who loves to dance. Even though I might not be the best, it's something I enjoy very much. I also love to ride four-wheelers with my family and friends and go on to the beach. When my name was called for your new Miss Leesburg, I was very shocked and then excited and then relieved. I decided to run for Miss Leesburg because it's always been a little passion of mine to help the community. I am also very excited that I can help mentor little kids. Being Miss Leesburg, I am so excited to help my community and volunteer local. As being Miss Leesburg, I hope to inspire people to let them know no matter who you are on the outside, it's always good to be true to yourself on the inside. I love Leesburg because it's a town I've been born and raised in and I love all the historical and beautiful places we have to offer. To me, my community means where we can all come together no matter if it is a good or a bad problem and help each other with whatever we need. I am so excited for what the upcoming year holds and to be your new Miss Leesburg. We want to congratulate all of the winners and of course thank all of the young ladies who competed in this year's pageant. We are truly looking forward to seeing some upcoming reports here on Lakefront TV from our new pageant sisters. 
One popular monthly event that takes place in downtown Leesburg is the Classic Car Show. Cars from yesteryear to today line Main Street on the second Saturday of every month starting at 5 p.m. Let's toss things over to the Leesburg Partnership's Joni Smalley for more. Hi, I'm Joni Smalley, the Executive Director for the Leesburg Partnership, and we're here tonight at the second Saturday Classic Car Show. Let's go out and check it out. Second Saturday night here in downtown Leesburg every month. one of the Ford Mustang owners. So tell me, what brings you to downtown Leesburg? Well, I have this 427R that built by Jack Roush and I wanted other people to see it. And so tell me a little bit about it. Well, it belonged to my brother. He was up in Chicago, Illinois. Uh, he bought it directly from Jack Roush. Uh, him and Jack were pretty good friends. And uh, he did a deal with Jack uh, for his company and ended up buying this car from Jack. It is a beautiful car. So do you drive it around like every day or is it like hidden in a garage? It is not an everyday driver, <laughs> let me tell you. No, um, it mainly sits in the garage. It's an 07, it's got 25,000 miles on it is all. So it's, uh, it's just kind of a Sunday, have some fun driving. Wow, and so Patrick, where are you from? Well, my last place I lived was Kansas City, Missouri. And now you live in? The Village is Florida. Oh wow, well, welcome to Florida. Thank you. We're here with Rob from Community Collision, the sponsor for tonight's event. He chose the Ford Mustang to be featured tonight. So Rob, why did you feature a Ford Mustang? Uh, Ford Mustang was my first car. I got it when I was 16. Uh, it was a 83 Mustang convertible red with a white top. Oh wow, what a beautiful car. I didn't have anything that nice. So what made you want to sponsor tonight? I just wanted to be a uh, sponsor in the community for uh, the car show. I wanted to keep it going throughout uh, Leesburg and I just have a passion for the community. What a great night in downtown Leesburg. We had great cars, lots of people, great music. Thank you to our sponsors, Community Collision, Serenity Inspectors for making this a great event tonight. If you want to come to next month's car event, it's Saturday, October 9th from 5 to 7 p.m. For more information, go to www.leesburgpartnership.com. You can also see all the other great things we have coming up. There's a lot going on in Leesburg, so check it out. And don't forget to support your local businesses, share a little sunshine, and we'll see you next time on Lakefront TV. What a great fun event. Downtown Leesburg restaurants are open, there's entertainment and even cash prizes. For more information, check out the Leesburg Partnership's fall calendar on their website. It's jam-packed with upcoming events including the Craft Beer, Wine and Food Festival on October 15th from 6 to 10 p.m. On October 30th, the Partnership is hosting the annual Boo Bash for infants to kids 12 years old. This free event includes safe trick-or-treating, pumpkin painting, and a kid's costume contest. It'll run from 9 a.m. to noon. Also, before the end of the month, be sure to visit Main Street to check out some creative scarecrows. It's all part of the annual scarecrow build-off by local schools, businesses, and organizations. Don't touch that dial. Coming up next, experience the Murder Mystery Clue live event at the historic Moat Morris House, plus a recap of this year's Leesburg Partnerships Community Awards. Next on The Lake Report, we'll be right back. Welcome back to The Lake Report. We hope you're enjoying this week's show. If you have a story idea or have an upcoming event that you'd like to see covered here on our weekly magazine show, shoot us an email at lakefront at leesburgflorida.gov. Also be sure to like and follow Lakefront TV's and the Daily Commercial's Facebook pages to stay connected with what's happening in our community. The City of Leesburg's Parks and Recreation Department has a packed calendar full of amazing events for folks of all ages. One of their latest events took place at the historic Moat Morris House in downtown Leesburg. 
teams of detectives wandered the house to find the killer, the weapon, and the location of the ghastly murder. The sold out Clue Live event was quite the success. Let's check it out. Hi, my name is Brittany and I'm part of your recreation staff here at the city of Leesburg. And today we're at the Moat Morris house where there's been a murder. Now join us as we follow detectives around the house looking for clues to solve the murder. Now, come inside, let's see what we can find. Hey, I'm Tim Totten with Fun Venture. We're here at the Moat Morris house for Clue Live Mystery Party. I actually have the answers right in these envelopes, but nobody playing the game will know until they've been able to roam the house, play some of the really fun games that we have involved, and talk to the other teams, just like in the game Clue, to figure out who was the murderer, what weapon they used, and what part of the house they did the ghastly deed in. At the start of the game, each team of four has to find their investigator's toolkit first. After they find it, they have to unlock the lock, and they do that by deciphering the code on the front. There's 12 different codes for 12 different teams. Once they've done that, they'll be able to get all of their tools out, and it'll help them as they go through the rest of the game. Here in the sewing room, teams will use this deck of cards to figure out a code to open a box that then reveals another clue, getting them one step closer to figuring out who committed the murder, where it was committed, and what weapon was used. Now that our investigators have solved the murder here at the Moat Morris house, visit us online for more fun events just like this at leesburgflorida.gov. What a fun event. Be sure to check out the City of Leesburg's Parks and Recreation Department's upcoming events on leesburgflorida.gov. One event you don't want to miss is the annual Halloween Haunted House, which is fun for kids of all ages. It officially opens October 28th and runs through the 31st. This week, the Leesburg Partnership held their annual awards dinner at the Venetian Center. The nonprofit honored outstanding community members for their contributions over the past year. Hi, I'm Joni Smalley, the Main Street Executive Director for the Leesburg Partnership. We're here tonight at our annual dinner and awards for the Leesburg Partnership for 2020-2021. Our awards tonight are for our downtown merchants, local community members, businesses, and a way to give appreciation for all that they've done in this last year. Our Merchant of the Year this year is Prominent Fox. In a time where many local businesses are closing their doors, one has thrived and added to theirs. In 2018, they moved to the heart of Leesburg, offering stylish clothes and accessories. Our Volunteer of the Year is Kim Higgins. She can be seen assisting with setups, breakdowns, running concessions, and has been a great friend of the partnership for over 15 years. Outstanding Government Employee of the Year goes to Purchasing Manager for the City of Leesburg, Mike Thornton. When everyone was struggling to acquire PPE and other items in short supply, Mike was able to obtain the products needed to allow city employees to safely continue providing services to the public outstanding community partner is awarded to our very own Lakefront TV. For over 16 years, they have shined a spotlight on our community by bringing together public affairs and government issues with education, health, wellness, sports, and the arts. Outstanding team player is Tyler Brandenburg. Tyler is a hardworking and dedicated to the community, which earned him a spot in the 2020 Lake Sumter Style Magazine's 40 and under 40 top young professionals. Outstanding business of the year, Lassiter Wear Insurance. This year we are recognizing a business who has built success by serving their community first. Outstanding community service goes to John Christian and the Christian Worship Center. 21 years ago, a local ministry started with an empty building and vision. Today, that ministry has added value to our community through their outreach and community service. Outstanding community spirit goes to Mystic Ice Cream. Mystic Ice Cream is known for the willingness and desire to participate in activities that promote a community. Outstanding organization, Lake 100. Lake 100 is committed to our, our community by leading the drive on economic development in Lake County. Outstanding revitalization project, Beacon College. 
They have restored and repurposed the old downtown train station into a fitness center where their students can get fit and healthy and kept the southern charm with their newly restored admissions building. Every year, the Leesburg Partnerships president gives the President's Award, and this year it goes to Maria Stefanovic. Maria is the director for the Leesburg Center for the Arts. She owns two shops in downtown Leesburg, our very popular Water Gypsy Coffee and the Workfront Center. She cares about this community and she is always, always all over Leesburg. Our next award is the Greg Paget Citizen of the Year. The award was created in honor of the most incredible Leesburg citizen to walk Main Street. Greg cared about this community and would go the extra mile for businesses and citizens. This year, our award goes to Mike Matheny. Mike leads the Church of Lakes with a philosophy and mission of making a difference in our community, and he has done just that. I'd like to thank the residents of Leesburg for their support for the Leesburg Partnership, and we look forward to a new and exciting year for 2021-22. We hope to see you out there, out in our downtown, and supporting our local businesses. And don't forget to share a little sunshine. Congratulations to all the winners. The entire team here at Lakefront TV is honored to have received the Outstanding Community Partner Award, and we are so pleased to be part of such a fantastic community. Well, that's all the time we have left. A half hour sure goes by fast. We hope you enjoyed today's show. To catch it again, log on to Lakefront TV's YouTube channel. You can also see previous episodes there too. Until next time, we encourage you to get outdoors and explore this beautiful place we all call home. We'll see you next time.